So one of the first things you want to do is, is do um, local research. And this is called a Michino Eki. It's kind of a small government funded uh, place for local people to put their produce. So this is a grocery store, as you'll see. So what am I doing here? Well, I'm looking for folks who have honey. So I'm seeing if, if there's honey here, it'll be from a local beekeeper. So all this produce here is local. So there's local apples. Kind of expensive. Local produce. More apples. And if there's honey, should be in this area here. Aha! Look at this here. So this, here is the beekeeper. Shinsu. Shinsu sounds Chinese. Let me ask. Shinsu. Shin, Shinsu. It sounds Chinese, but it's not. Well. This is a good sign. When you see this, this is soba honey. So I am guessing this is the local beekeeper. It's all Shinsu. He's got different kind. This is soap, yeah. It's really dark. It looks different kind here. All right, another product here. Not sure what this is. Okay, great. Now this is definitely local. You wouldn't find um, actual bee wax. So success, went here, a uh, local beekeeper currently has moved his bee south and um, she's going to talk to him and find out, have the killer hornets been strong this year? This is what I want to find out. Have they been very active? Has he had a big problem with them? Um, because that will tell me kind of the, the extent of the problem that, that, he ha that, that, that there is in this area. Because... A beekeeper is going to be plagued by these things. And if this year was a good year for him, then that's a good sign for me that they're not strong. If it was a bad year, then I know basically there's, there's a problem in the area. There could be four or five potential nests in the mountains uh, that are going to create so much more. So, um, and it's, I'm kind of a friend to him because ultimately if I can help remove these nests, it means next year it's going to be good for him, better for him anyway. So success. Um, he's right now working, probably doing some stuff with his bees. His bees are European bees. I know that because they've moved it. The Japanese will move their bees south. So he's going to call me. He knows a foreigner who speaks Japanese really well. We're going to get together. So tonight I'll have to be able to talk to a beekeeper and find out what's going on and uh, what the year has been like and uh, you know, make connections. And that's the main thing when you're doing this sort of work is, is when you get into a new place is really... Uh, get to the meat of the problem, try to connect with the people who know, and, uh, and then uh, uh, assess the problem and then attack the problem. Some of you may know that I did a Shakespeare festival when I was in college called the Southern Shakespeare Festival. So whenever I see Shakespeare, especially in Japan, it's kind of like, wow. So I'm driving along and it says, look, the England country Hakuba, the Shakespeare Hotel, <laughs> it's got like someone spent a lot of money here. It's got the old thatch roof. The restaurant looks like it's pretty much dead right now. But this is just kind of like strange. How much money would have gone into building this? And it looks like it's pretty much in disarray. I don't know if they, they're opening up in the fall or if it's over. But this is pretty cool. Something you don't see very often in Japan, gun shooting, especially given what's happened. Top target. Well, let's go find out. So, I'm actually looking for a place to eat. And I saw this Eco Land. And it's like a cool little area. Um, but it looks like everything's closed. The Mexican place maybe. Oh, look at that. Japan, Mex, and Mexican dining. Mmm, that sounds good if they're open. This looks like Italian. So I connected with another beekeeper and she says there's like 10 
beekeepers really wealth of information so never never stop to ask questions this looks like there might be a little bit of rain so I figured or I had a thought that since uh, beekeepers in Japan have to keep themselves a distance of two kilometers uh, that's law it's kind of a stupid law the idea is to stop infection right but um, bees will travel up to three kilometers so, so the two kilometer range doesn't really make a lot of sense and uh, bees you know bees don't necessarily go to other other hives they're not like you know well sometimes they will raid but um, they're not gonna they're not gonna travel really far and raid anyway so there should be a registry of beekeepers so maybe I can find that out so here I am so here is City Hall I think and uh, we'll see if I can find someone who speaks English is a good sign when you see English tourism division tourism commission and the ski club so 1998 Nagano Winter Games and basically this place died after it and now it's a little bit of a re uh, renaissance but not if climate change happens this is what a government office looks like you know we're in a Japanese government office when you see this so here's a list of people address yeah. hmm? oh, oh, here here Hmm. Ah, okay. Area, area, area. Ah, so Kore, so just this one, ne? This one. Only one. So Kore, area, ne? Basho, different area. Dewa, area is 070? Ketai no Ben. Kore, fax, the show? Yes. Telephone. Okay, zero. Two six one. Okay. And quota uh master namai, ne? Okay. All right. Um, only one. Three. Uh, uh, oh, three. So oh, ipai. Uh, uh, azomi no shi de nani? Azomi no shi eto. Koi, kiro hino. Suzume Bachi? Oh, mouse. So, First. First. Then Tochi. Hoshi information, ne? Yeah. So success. So now I can go back to my um, teacher and Ultimately, not my teacher, the guy, the contact person, uh, who speaks pretty good English, and uh, have him make the calls. So let's do that next. I don't know if you see that up there. That's a huge yellow hornet hive, and that's where the hornets are coming into Yamada's house. So apparently, uh, a bird attacked him on top, um, came over there and was obviously very hungry and ate. And uh, it's kind of up there, so if I can get a big ladder, I'll take it down as a service. So I, uh, I had my buddy uh, give them a call and it turns out they have had done, one company alone has done 20 removals of all Suzume, the giants, 20. 
um, he said last year there wasn't that many. Well, obviously, they didn't, you know, those from last year turned around and used a lot more hives. So, obviously, probably others, 10, there's, there was six companies, so I'm saying about probably 60 odd removals. Um, that's good and bad in the sense that it depends on how many hives um, are left or if they got most of them, which is unlikely because a lot of them will be in the mountains. So there's, there's an old Suzumachi invasion going on in, in, this, uh, in this town. Um, so setting up traps and being proactive is important now. The other thing is, is that these guys don't want the hornets to be removed. Why? Because it's money for them. It's, they make, um, if it's an old Suzume, they probably make three mon, which is $300 to remove an old Suzume by Chi Hai. And uh, so, you know, that's a lot of money. You think 20 hives at 300 bucks a pop, that's quite a bit of income, additional income on top of their regular business. None of these guys are, are, are pros, they do it as a service. They may have one guy in there, you know, and it's, 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 it's good money. So, uh, I don't want to tell these guys I'm putting up traps to lower their business because ultimately that's, you know, they're going to be happy about that. So, I just wanted to find out the information about it. I think this is so crazy how they've turned this parking lot into a vineyard. And they've uh, basically dug up the parking lot and they've got vines coming out of the parking lot um, with grapes on it. I just think this is just crazy. What you can do to a parking lot, turn it into, into a vineyard. And there's actually over there, as you can see, these have been picked. But obviously, you know, how, why does this work? Well, because think of the heat that this parking lot generates, right? in summertime and that heat is going into the into it and look there's grapes over here and they've got meshing up I'm not going to run any netting here very clever idea you got an old parking lot turn it into into a, a place with grapes see the the bags look at those grapes right there that bag is broke These grapes are pretty much done. Look at over there, all those grapes there. Now, it looks like those that are in the ground are actually doing better, which you'd think they were. Or maybe they were the first ones, and then they did cuttings, and they planted them here. This one got beaten off, or someone ate those. Very interesting.